Welcome back to the U Sports Report in New Mexico. We got all the sports information that you want to hear. Alongside next to Mr. Tyler Ortega, the dad master, I am Khalil A. Colonna. Kimbry Temple is on vacation. Kimbry, if you're watching, send us a souvenir. All right. It's the weekend. You know what happened last weekend. Started on Thursday, ended on Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, it was the NFL Draft. Yes, Merry Christmas to you and all the other football fans across the world as you got new players to unwrap and to see how they're going to perform this upcoming NFL season. All right, so let's take a look at it, Tyler. Jared Goff went number one as expected. What do you think about the Rams pick? I think it was a great pick, not only for the franchise, you know, going through sort of a rebranding process, moving out to L.A., smart move as far as marketing goes. You get the number one overall pick, you take the big name, the Southern California kid, you're going to sell some jerseys. I think it was a great move all the way around for the Rams. I think it was a good move as well. I think this kid benefits from having the fact that he's got Todd Gurley, up and coming running back. He's got a stellar stout defense in that league. He will not have to take too much time, too much pressure on his shoulders. Moving on to the second pick, we have Mr. Carson Wentz was taken by the Philadelphia Eagles, meant to the appropriate amount of booze for a Philadelphia team. Yeah, Carson Wentz, uh, he has hasn't even taken a snap yet for the Eagles and and he's literally already being booed by Eagles fans I don't know what that speaks more to uh, the fans in Philly or just the culture in Philly that they provide. I think it's the culture in Philly. They want to win. They want to win now. They expect to win, except when they're going to 76ers <laughs> games. We're moving on. Joey Bosa, defensive end out of Ohio State, was taken third by the San Diego Chargers, which was somewhat of a surprise. People were thinking the Chargers would look more at offensive line help with Laramie Tunsil, but he had a tumble that we'll get to a little bit. On to your Dallas Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott picked fourth, tailback out of Ohio State, running behind that stellar offensive line. All right, you're a Cowboys fan. What's your opinion? I, I love the pick. I love the pick. Ezekiel Elliott, like you said, behind this line, I think this kid's going to be a stud. We still have uh, Darren McFadden. Contract expires after this coming year. Alfred Morris is back there. Lance Dunbar coming off that uh, catastrophic knee injury, yet to see how he's going to develop. I think Ezekiel Elliott, by the time the year is over, I think he's going to lead all rookies in, uh, in rushing yards. Oh, the rookie rushing yard leader. I'll take it. All right, you heard it first here. Tyler put it on there. But they also pulled off a coup, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I say a coup. In the second round, they nabbed Notre Dame outside linebacker Jalen Smith. You might know this young man, stellar linebacker. Many considered him to be the number one prospect overall in this entire draft. He unfortunately shredded his knee in the Fiesta Bowl, tore his ACL, his LCL, and suffered some nerve damage, which scared teams off. But Dallas and Jerry Jones, being the master of subterfuge, was able to pull something off. Apparently, their team surgeon was the man who performed the procedure on Jalen Smith. He's the only one who got to see the inside of of the knee and knew that that nerve wasn't severed. It was merely stretched, which he says should regenerate fully. He says basically in a year, this kid will be up to top form once again. So you guys were able to nab two top five talents in the first and second round. How do you feel about that? Helping I, I'm out loving that defense. I'm loving it. I am loving it. The Cowboys defense totally killed us last year during that seven game losing streak that we went on without Romo. Um, but like you said, the Cowboys, they got two top five picks here in this one draft. And then very, very sneaky work there by Jerry Jones and the team surgeon. Uh, you know, at, all in all, I would think uh, Cowboys were up there in the top three as far as overall drafts this year. Completely. Speaking of another team that was able to pull up two top five picks, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Kimbrey, I know you're smiling, sweetheart. You guys might make that Super Bowl in a few years. Your <laughs> prediction is coming true. Reminds me, hey, if you're predicting like that, play the Powerball for me. It's a couple hundred million. I'll share it with you. <laughs> but these guys were able to pull off Jalen Ramsey, the all-star cornerback, sometimes safety, from Florida State. But they also got Miles Jack in the second round, who got news from Dr. James Andrews, the vaunted Dr. James Andrews, that Miles will not need microfracture surgery. His knee is actually going to be okay. And that's just really happy. I'm a Miles Jack fan. I'm happy about that because now Jacksonville suddenly, come with returning Dante Fowler, their number one pick last year, who suffered an ACL injury in minicamp, they have three basically first round rookies coming to this team. This defense, with the addition of Malik Jackson, look out in this division. And not just the defense, they have a really solid offense as well. They have Bortles back there, they have uh, Allen Robinson, Allen Hearns on the outside as far as uh, wide receivers go they also picked up Chris Ivory in free agency from the Jets yeah. and they also have uh, the kid that used to play at Bama there as well 
So, I mean, Jacksonville, Yeldon. Yeldon, yeah. Jacksonville is good. They're going to be real tough. They're going to be really tough this coming season. Keep yes. an eye out for them. Look out for that entire division. It's a division of great young defenses coming up, but also maybe the division with the best four young quarterbacks in the NFL. Mm -hmm. Moving on to another quarterback situation. The Denver Broncos, ladies and gentlemen, that's right. The Denver Broncos were able to pull off a massive trade. They got, they moved up to get Mr. Paxton Lynch out of Memphis. The Broncos maybe have solved their quarterback issues. Of course, Sanchez, the starter, is going to be the starter for the moment. What do you think about Paxton Lynch and his development? Uh, well, personally, first off, starting off with the pick, Jerry Jones said he lost sleep over that one pick that night once the Broncos traded up and, and nabbed him over the Cowboys. You know, I'm right there along with him. We, the Cowboys did get Dak Prescott, but I think Paxton Lynch, he has what it takes to be uh, a, a good quarterback in this NFL. He's got the stature. He can stand in the pocket. He has great accuracy and arm strength. So I think it's a great pick for Denver. Just don't want him to see, uh, don't want to see him being forced in there too early because no. we've seen how that goes with uh, young quarterbacks. I think they'll take their time. He spent most of his time. I think 99% of his snaps were in the shotgun. They're going to te teach him to take the ball under, under center to make the good play action fakes. He's going to have time to develop in Kubiak's system. Right. So fortunately with that great defense, they won't have to rush him too fast. I want to note one team, the Cleveland Browns, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, the Cleveland Browns has been synonymous with steak. Sorry, horrible, just a really overall bad team. That's what we say most of the time when we talk about Cleveland. However, the Cleveland Browns pulled off, in my opinion, the best draft. What did they need on that team? They needed talent. Hell, they just needed bodies. And they got them. 14 brand new bodies to really help out new coach Hugh Jackson and new quarterback Robert Griffith Jr. or RG3. They got five wide receivers, most notably Corey Coleman, who won the Bolitnikoff Award as the college football's top receiver. 20 touchdowns out of Baylor last season. The kid's a burner. He's an all-out guy. They got Jordan Payton from UCLA. Jordan Payton is a very nice, big, tall, strong possession receiver. They just filled it up. They grabbed two defensive ends, a linebacker, they grabbed two offensive linemen. They just filled up the cupboard. Now, who knows what these guys are going to do? But I have a feeling in a few years, this team is going to be much better. Once again, I'm going to say it right here and right now. The two most competitive divisions in football next season, the AFC North and the NFC East, because the New York Giants got a lot better. We got Eli Apple, defensive back out of Ohio State with our first pick. Second round, we grabbed Sterling Shepard, the fantastic wide receiver out of Oklahoma. I just can't wait to see Odell Beckham Jr., Victor Cruz, and this rookie on the field with Eli. It's going to be something else. And in the fourth round, Paul Perkins running back out of UCLA. Shifty, shifty running back. To me, he's kind of a Tiki Barber, Jamal Charles hybrid. One cut and then explosion off the line. Uh, you know, Giants did real well in this draft as well. Uh, particularly with that Eli Apple pick. You know, that kid, he was something coming out of college, and I think he's going to be something in the NFL as well. Yep. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been first round, obviously. It's, it's going to be a good one. We're about to wrap it up. I will say one last bold statement about this draft. We'll tell. Three or four years will tell us. But I think the narrative on this draft class total toward the end of the season may go down as one of the best draft classes in history. I believe every team filled a position of need with some talent. I think every team is going to get great production from a lot of their rookies, not just one or two. I think it, this is going to be the year of the rookie. Rookies all across the board, from undrafted free agents to Mr. Irrelevant to the number one overall pick, are going to make great contributions to the league. It's a youth movement in the NFL, everybody. Get used to the change. All right, moving on to NBA basketball. That's right. There are NBA playoffs and hockey playoffs going on. More on that later about how the NFL dominates everything. We are moving on to 